Hello everyone, on this video we will give you a brief explanation about hot and cold mounting. First is hot mounting. Step 1, set the parameter of process which is time and temperature. Usually, it takes 15 minutes for one process. The M temperature is 181 degrees Celsius, it based on the type of resin we use. And this section is for monitoring the actual temperature during the process. This button to move the base up and down. And this is the button to automatically start the process. Also, there is the stop button. First, raise the base by pushing the up button. Clean the surface from the dust from the previous process using a brush. You need to clean it well. You need to clean the upper part as well. After clean them all, put the sample on the base. Then bring it down inside the chamber. Put in the resin powder to the chamber. The amount is depending on the heat of the sample. Close the chamber and make sure it is tight enough. Then, press the automatic button to start the process. The actual temperature is increasing. The temperature cooled down after the process finish. Around 39 to 38 degrees Celsius, push the down button to bring down the base to release the pressure inside the chamber because it has a high pressure around 2000 psi. After it has no pressure, you can open the chamber because the pressure before is locking the chamber during the process. Push the up button to raise the base, also to push the sample out. Your sample is done. After the process, you have to clean the equipment as well. Everything is done. These are what you need for cold mounting process and don't forget to wear the safety equipment because the resin will be harmful for your skin. First, grease the mold surface to make the resin not sticking into the mold leather. So, take a little amount of Vaseline and apply it.
take the sample holder. It is like a roll of transparent plastic. It helps hold the sample stand still inside the mold. Split the roll into a shape similar to the number 8. Put the sample in between it. Climb the sample like this. Then, locate the sample on the mold base. Put the sleeve on the mold base. Make sure it is tight to avoid the leak of the resin. Resin preparation. First, you need epoxy hardener, and second, you need epoxy resin. First, pour the hardener into the cup you prepared before. It's supposed to be hardener 3 to 7 epoxy. The cup capacity is 10 ml, so it is 3 ml of hardener. After that, pour 7 ml of epoxy as well. Stir it well using the stick until the epoxy and the hardener mixed well. It is done if there are no bubbles in the mixture. Still stirring the mixture, but the video is in two times speed. It is time to pour the mixture onto the mold. Pour it carefully to avoid any spills of the epoxy. And done. It takes 12 to 24 hours for the curing time.